Hey everyone, the man of stubborn speech again, and I want to talk about global warming. I guess I'll call it global warming, or maybe I should call it climate change. I don't know. Whatever it is since the Ice Age to the age we're in now, uh, that people are examining and trying to um, figure out what the best course in life is. But in all these things, I think the most important thing is the nuclear family, the creation of man and woman and children, and what they believe. And after all, isn't it fair to say that this is what's been going on throughout history? I think so. I know you believe it is what a family member said to me when I was speaking of the Lord. In my opinion, he has been indoctrinated over time to be a Green New Deal believer. And of course, I am a believer in the good news of Jesus Christ. Pilate asked, what is truth? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. It is the same today in the world. People ask, what is truth? Today we have deniers of God's word and instead have evolution taught as fact within our schools. And among this science God doctrine, it has now gone a step further with climate change. This religion asks, are you a climate change denier? That is like asking someone if they are denying history. What an idiotic question. Really, what they are inferring is, do you deny that humanity is responsible for the cause and effect of the world and its destiny? Ian Pilmer has a book called Not for Greens. He who... Um, Sups with the devil should have a long spoon, is the name of the book. He understands that out of the 85,000 molecules, one is man-made CO2. Temperature drives CO2, not the inverse in this chain. And that carbon dioxide is the food of life. Most people don't realize that they're is less than less CO2 in the atmosphere today than taken from the polar ice cap samples millennia ago. 97% of the climate models shown show a spike nowadays, which have been subsidized to scientists by governments who want specific results. The climate change model, which is the most accurate strangely enough, is the Russian model, which shows a gradual warming rather than a spike that the other charts show. This does not surprise me in the least, as I firmly believe this was all engineered by the communists to bring down the industrial West and has infiltrated our institutions of learning presently. Joseph Stalin once said, education is a weapon whose effects depend on who holds it in the hands and at whom it is aimed. Stalin understood he must destroy America's Christian reform roots in order to be successful in world domination. Historically, with the religion of humanism, as ruled by the Supreme Court, being introduced in our schools after World War II, this is exactly what has happened unbeknown to most. Few people have the strength of their convictions to speak out. As they know, as soon as they do, they will be marginalized by this modern culture of manipulators for our minds and the minds of our children. In August 2019, Hannity grills New York City Mayor de Blasio in an interview on climate change 
and greenhouse emissions. Yet, what is never focused upon is that it takes more so-called fossil fuels to produce and maintain renewable energy than they are capable of reducing and are unreliable and are more expensive in supplying energy to massive amount of people globally. What is in control upon people's decisions? The answer is their beliefs. And if you have faulty beliefs, you will inevitably make faulty decisions. Who knows better this than anyone? Question. It's the Lord God and the devil is the answer. Light has no fellowship with darkness, and anyone who remotely is remotely familiar with the scripture knows great darkness will cover the earth uh, prior to the return of Christ for his people within such darkness. So ultimately, the question becomes, what do you choose to believe? And do you patronize others when they disagree with you? It is an age-old question that has no end. To me, this seems to be the consistent qu um, question fought within the institutions of learning and the battlefields of history. So, what do you believe? I know you believe it, as a family member said to me. And this is what it gets down to. What do we believe? Because after all, uh, there's nothing wrong with science, and I think you should investigate things, and you should you should uh, be studied and read up, you know, study to show yourself proof in all things, not just scripture, but in all things, if you're able to do it. But the thing is, the answer is not within our natural understandings, our natural beliefs. The answer is the Lord God himself, because after all, our finite minds are incapable of knowing everything. So to me, you have to put your trust in somebody that does know everything. And I believe that's the Lord Jesus Christ, who, because of his sacrifice upon a cross, makes it capable of us of knowing the Father. And I also think, on an unconscious level, this is what's going on in the spiritual realm. Satan uh, would rather kill people than have them come to the truth of the Lord. And it kind of filters down to the natural mind. Sometimes I feel like a pawn on the board uh, in this world. And really, we all are pawns. It was funny. I think it was Karl Marx that said um, that it's the opium of the masses religion. But like I just said, humanism was rural religion also. So thinking that you can be as God, I would think that's an opium of the masses as well. The only difference is one of them takes place in the natural world and one in the spiritual world. All right. Thanks for watching.